JC with BBG. Today I have Manus and Cass with me. We are at the Eastgate Motor Show. Manus and Cass. And we're being watched by someone. They're intrigued. Why you should be intrigued too. Okay, so we're going to be just looking at all the cars around. Not much. We're not talking about specs, anything like that. Just our reactions to it and showing you kind of what's around here. Unfortunately, there are two 458s. There's a Phantom. There's a Project 7. There's a California. There's, There's a, a Bentley, McLaren, McLaren Super Sport, Sport. That's 12C. All of those which we can't really film right now, but There's we've a made it. F12. We F12, yeah, we Berlinet, Berlinet, we Berlinet. So we've made an arrangement with the guy there that we're going to go to his showroom to do those more specifically. So we'll see those later. And Manus and I are going to come back tomorrow to film the cars leaving. Yes. Cass and I are going to come back tomorrow to film the cars leaving. Hopefully, we can get some nice sounds, some nice shots then. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So behind us is a cheap Loretto or something like that. Don't really know how to pronounce it, but what's more important is what's in front of us, which I'm gonna have to stop and turn the camera around because I want better quality, and then you'll see it. Yeah. This car is insane. Jeep. SRT. Ooh, look at the pipes, bro. Dude, this car is insane. Check, check that, check that, check that. Ah, it's oh, open. Oh, it's open. SRT. And I'm shaking because I'm using one hand only. Is it naturally aspirated or turbocharged, Monis? It's uh, turbocharged. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's naturally aspirated. See, that's the Look at the cool car. It's a 6.4 liter. 6.4. 6.4 liter V8. There's no way it's 6.4 liter. 6.4 liter. Early on, they open the engine. Do you want this car, Sam? I want that one. No, you get this one. This is the wrong number. They got a wrong number. You got a wrong number. And they just hang up with me. Mm. How rude. Alright, now we're moving on from the SRT to the white car in front of us. I'm not going to let you know what it is until we flip the camera around so you can see and feel and hear at the same time. So here we have the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. This is a 2.8 litre CRD. Look at the bonnet. And you have clips like that. Look at the door handles. Don't think it's open. Totally not open. But something like that's not flimsy. I want a powerful car, but I kind of like a drop top, but cast like something red. Which is why he's looking at the Wrangler on that side. Yeah, that's the petrol one. The petrol one. This is diesel, by the way. It makes a difference to your life. Yeah, this is a 2.8 liter CRD. What's this? Yeah, this is 2.8 CRD. What's that? That is a 3.6 V6. Okay, I've made up my mind. I always want to drop top. I'll just have to deal with the red. Deal with the red. I'll get the SRT. It's fine. <laughs> this and it feels real. I mean, obviously it's real, but like, it just feels strong. Ah. Oh, with the speaker there in the back? Is it open? No. Oh, man. SRT. <laughs> of the Jeeps that I hear, SRT. <laughs> okay. Yes? okay, 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 okay. And yours? Jeep. Jeep Wrangler. I'll take the SRT as well. 6.4 liter V8 though. Oh, you guys. Have you heard the sound of an SRT? Yes, I have. That's why you guys can get them and I can hear the sound, but I'll definitely get this one and we'll have more fun. Right, as long as if we've got friends with other ones in the way. How are you? Shut. Alfa Romeo, Julieta. You're finding small problems. Come look at, <laughs> come look at this. <laughs> what is this? 
all that you need to know is when the engine sits here in a car, it means when you're sitting inside, you're feeling the roar of the engine behind you and you're hearing it crystal clear. I'm way taller than the car. It's like an arm length. I definitely get this above the Julieta. Uh, I give the Julieta. Why? Because why? He's saying because because I'm getting that one. No, you're gonna get this one and I'll show you the Julieta. Oh my word. Alright, so here we have an A250 with, with, with what looks like the body kit of an A45, which is super disappointing because it's not an A45, so moving on. 250 A250 or E. E350 diesel. That is the question I pose to you. Uh, E350 diesel. Alright, so now it gets real. Now it gets <laughs> This is my place, this is my happy place. <laughs> now it gets real. Let's, let's start here, let's start here. Of all the 63s and 65s, my favorite would be an S65 MG. Unfortunately, this is just an S500. Still a very dope car to get, but not as cool as the other two we're getting to now. Let's just take a look on the inside. Yeah. Imagine it has on that steering wheel the power that you control. This this by far would be this this this. Ooh, these cars are amazing. This is the one that I'll get. SL63 AMG with matte black room. <laughs> I know you guys haven't seen the last car yet, but this is the one I'd go for. me. No, yeah, I would go for that no, one. Uh, what was I going to say now? Even the brake calipers look amazing. Want to take a look inside? Well, that one. Now imagine your hands on that steering wheel. It's a little bit more power. <laughs> this is totally open. Just put it in inside and get all three feet. No. To and my it's favorite. Top. Can we go to my favorite now? <laughs> now we have to go to my favorite. I'm not disappointed. I'm very not disappointed. Except for the fact that you it is a GTS. You tell me I have Come on. It is an AMG Mercedes GTS. Do you want to see a whole bunch of knobs that you have no idea what they do? Yeah. Take a look in there. There's eight on either side. What? Four on either side. Eight. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> look at that. But it's damn swag, dude. Imagine your hands on that steering wheel, man. Unfortunately, it's a GTS. There's nothing wrong with it. If someone it's, were to give, if someone were to give me this car, I wouldn't complain. But so, I look at the look at the I can't believe it. Look at the cabin to bonnet ratio. It's like almost exactly in half. Exactly. What's the problem? It's got well, a big engine. I love it. That's, that's not a problem. That's a good. And it's not like how round the back is. That's S X P T looks me. This looks kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back to the S X P T. If you look at the pipes here, it looks like it's got double pipes, and it's actually only one pipe with the conversion to two. I've been noticing that on a lot of the more of the newer cars, especially like as Mercedes has been rebranding from the new C63. The new C63 is now only a four liter, which also disappoints me a little bit because 63 should be 6.3 liter. Why? I want to hear. I want to feel. It must be real. All right. Onto some less exciting, but they're still Mercedes, so it's quite cool. Yeah. Oh. It's a C180 station wagon. So we can do these three. Yeah, C250. C250. Yeah, I take the C220D. Which one is that? Is that that one or that one? Red one or the black one? Red one. He's wrong. Oh, he has a copy of you, Monis. 
Sammy, tell me about this car. Which smart car? Look on the inside, you can see the interior of the car. <laughs> it's got really tinted windows. Really tinted. I like that. And yeah, look at the bonnet to cabin ratio. Bonnet to cabin. Yes, first. I knocked my head. Okay, still. <laughs> Do you know what this means? Do you know what this? This. And on the seat. Do you know what that means? It's cause the beats put here. Is that good? Is that good? I don't like beats. Yeah, it's, good. it's a TSI, which means that I wouldn't get it. Cool. Cool. It's got beats sound, which means standard sound is uh But like guys you get stuff like Harmon Carden. And Bose. like holes, yeah, and but like at least at least the polo tears are trying. Okay, okay. This is probably our line. Maybe it just has an R kit because it doesn't really look like much of an R. So we've got another TSI blue motion. So of these three, I'd get the G7. Uh, I'll, I'll get the beach to your side for no. so that means that leaves you with the... I'll definitely the get one. the big one because I'm more of an off-road guy. You guys just know me by now. I do. You want to see yourself with it? It's <laughs> almost my height. I prefer it a little higher. But you gotta... I mean, you guys took those cars, so what do I have to... Do? I can't... Like, there's nothing left for me to take you, so I'll just have to deal. We are going into the corridor with all the minis. Um, my mother's personal favorites. I have to kind of know quite a bit about it because I need to make a decision on her behalf because she doesn't really know much about cars. So first up, we've got the Mini Cooper S, the normal standard one, but this one's a bit special because it's got the John Cooper Works kit on it, which means it's got upgrades on the engine, it's got a cool sticker kit, it's got a body kit, it's got um, like, all sorts of like internal and it's a convertible. It's a convertible. convertible. It's a drop top. But let's go check it out. That body kit, doesn't that look swag? These lights, these lines, it's so smooth, it's slick. What do you want? What do you want in the streets, bro? It's nothing like being in a mini, taking on another car and just knowing that you're gonna take it down. Especially the Ooh, Cooper works. How do you feel about that with your S63? <laughs> Come on, dude. How can you even call it? It's all Oh, you see him using an S. There's no way. Dude. There's no way that this will beat an SL63. There's you know no that, right? way. That obviously. Okay. I'm just making sure. This is a normal Mini Cooper S. That one's working. John Cooper works as always. This is like your funeral version Mini. I guess. Like what you call it? I really don't like this vehicle. <laughs> Why would you have a car that opens like this? Makes me think like I'm getting into a, a coffin driving car. What do you call that thing? A hearse. <laughs> It doesn't look that bad. Like from 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 like here to the front, it's that swag. Like the back is just really good. But you see the thing? A mini should be mini. Should be huge. To the I wouldn't get a mini because I'm really shiny and there is one more My personal favorite out of all minis. Really? I will take the mini Cooper countryman, but my personal preference would be the John Cooper version. They didn't really have the John Cooper version. Yeah, this is the normal Mini Cooper Countryman. Dude, <laughs> really? This is the last one I'm really? taking. I'll take that over. Dude, this one you can do off road. No, you can't. Yes, Not you normal. can. You can. That's why they built it. So that you, it's like a soft road. So you can climb the curve so that you can let me go past my car. I can climb the curve so that when you get stuck in traffic, I can bypass you. Okay, so I once asked Cass what M3 would he get if he were to get a new one, and he said the E36. And as such, it is clear that he knows nothing about BM, so I think he's going to film while Manus and I talk about them. Mm. 
Sammy just said she'd drive an X1. Let's just, let's just look at this. Let's count the pipes. One. Why? Why would you do that to yourself? Dude, it's an X1. It's supposed to have one pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Andy what here. engine is in this car? All that you need to know is that there is a bike turbo under here. Under this, right over here. What is this? What is it? It's a 730. Adaptive LEDs. Like to me, a 7 series is bigger than it needs to be. There's no purpose of it being big. Like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the 5 series because it's bigger, but this is too big for anything. So I have quite a strict policy on the type of cars I like. It either has to be taller than me, or a lot shorter than me. If it's about the same height as me, it doesn't work. So, X5, definitely, unfortunately, this is the 3D to diesel version, and I would need to get to here. It does have an M kit on it though. Important fact to know, there's a button underneath this that will automatically close the boot as with most cars. And it has fake pipes as well. So it's disappointing. But of these, of these here, of all the BMs here, I would take the X5. We you haven't even gone to the 3. As you can see it, it's a 320, dude. And it's a diesel. And it's a diesel. 320B. Yeah. Unfortunately, there are no M's here today. They all have M kits, but... Okay, so here we have the Mazda BZ50, which is Manus' favorite. Check but here, we... there's a whole lot of and important information. What do you have to say about your favorite bike, you really? Um, it's not. He's more of a Suzu kind of guy. All right, so if you look at the interior, it's a normal five-speed, 3.2 liter, 4x4. Um, it comes out standard with all-terrain tires, this specific model. It doesn't have a screen like most of the other buckies. Um, the rear it seating it space is... Yes, but it's not that screen like the rest of it. That's just a normal LED screen. Okay, so this would probably end up being a cheaper bucky then. Uh, it's a lot cheaper than the rest of the buckies. If you're looking for just the normal bucky, go for this one. But if you want to buy the best, go for a Suzu in my opinion. It's just really in love with the Suzu. I still wouldn't get this, because to me it's not like, it doesn't feel as strong. Like, I, when, when it comes to buckies, I want to be able to, if I'm in the car, I want to be the biggest, the most powerful thing on the road. Which is why I'd get the SRT. I know it's not a bucky, it's a 4x4, but still, I still get it. If you look the specs of this car, you can see here that I can't really say much about it because there is none. There's nothing there, and I don't know anything about this car. I know that it gives you 5.9 liters per 100 kilometers. Because you read that there. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so one of us has driven one of these before. Tell me. Give you a few one car you don't want that's driven. Do you know what I would get instead of a Q3? Are the four pipes legit? Yes, they are. Can you smell how amazing that food smells? Yes, I, yes I it doesn't mean the car is good. Okay, cool. This is a full bag. Fiat and uh, Mitsubishi collaborated together and they created this bucky. Is that the baby of a Fiat and a Mitsubishi? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's it pretty is. cool. I don't it know that. It looks exactly like the new Fiat, oh, the new Mitsubishi Triton, except it is got, it has a Fiat badge on it and it's called a fullback. It's also, a, so, it's a 2.8 so liter 4x4. So this is basically Mitsubishi's design with a Fiat badge. It's exactly like what Subaru and Toyota did on the... POC. Yes. This would be the car. I spoke to the car salesman earlier that was like telling me a bit about the car and then I asked him all sorts of questions but the most interesting thing he told me is that before this car show, this car was taken on the brand new Kailami race course and he said it was quite an experience. What does quite an experience mean? Um, the car was amazing. Its handling was cool, it drove like super fast, it shifted like crazy with the paddle shift. It was just like... He was blown away. After a thing in the past, this 
It's just the Kia Rio. <laughs> this is the Kia Rio. This is the base model. Drive the 1.2. I drive the 1.4 tech. This is the 1.2. This is uh, the K2700. Isuzu K2700 Bucky. Isuzu. Is oh, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Kia Motors. What is one of these? Yeah. And what a with this one. What do you move with? Move to this K2700. Why is it with this thing? Because it will work back here, so it's like, hey, let me move it or work back here. Why not? Moves. <laughs> this is what I drive. This is what you drive. I just drive a red one, it's nicer. It's... I really like this one. Yeah, okay. So sleek. Look at the mags. They're amazing. It's got automatic lights. One of our friends, Jared, what has he done to his car? He might black his rims and he might black his spoiler. And it looks pretty dope. Plastic dope. <laughs> a very, very so not, cool so, car. not so beautiful car. The color is really nice. Car. Yeah. Sorrento. Sorrento. This is the seven seater Kia. Seven for display. I don't know. Okay, so seven. out of one of them, what are you going to get? I would get monitors every day. I'd get the Sorento. I'd also it's a get the Sorento. It's a 2.2 litre four wheel drive, I'd... seven seater, comes standard with the screen, reverse camera, it's got a button to open the boot, that's pretty swag. I get the Sorento. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it's us the, about it. It's the GT line, which means that if we were to get a Renault, I probably still wouldn't get this one. But I'd I get the RS. Now, compare this Renault to the old Renault Megane. Yeah, okay, this, this is a vast improvement. To the old Renault Megane? Yeah. Yes, look at it. Do you That's not remember stunning. what the old Renault Megane was like? The Renault Megane had a window that came down and a big bumper. The RS, that, the RS, like the black one that the guy drives. Yes. Have you seen the back of it? I'll take that one off this one. Easy. The Renault Duster, I don't know if it still is, but it used to be the most economical SUV. And it's also one of the cheapest to buy. So for an everyday bigger than normal car. It's an Ola. Here's some information. What I know that it wakes you up if you're trying to, if you're trying to, if you're falling asleep. I've driven one of these cars. It's quite a nice. I'm not a fan of Mitsubishi. Isn't this the car that Jared's mom drives? Yes, it is. It's quite nice, it's quite strong, and it's got a cone, um, cone gearbox. So automatic, and when you're driving, you don't feel the gears shift at all. The revs just constantly rise, and the speed constantly rises, so you don't feel anything. Really smooth. Let's move on. Here's the Fajero Sport. Not keen on steering wheel. Not keen on the gear lever. Guys, but it's an off-road vehicle. It's so amazing. Look, no, but look how thin the steering wheel is for an off-road car. Ken's World War II Land Rover is an off-road car. So here we have the Pajero Did. Did exceed. It did exceed. It's got a Rockford Force Gate sound system. I think that's pretty sweet. Okay. Okay. Out of all these cars, which one would you take? I'd take this one. I'll take this one, yeah. It did exceed. I would also it take the Pajero. My expectation. <laughs> all right. So I would get. What is your verdict? HRV. Why? Because it's bigger and it's blue. I'm joking. I don't like blue cars, but it's bigger. Guys, out of all these vehicles. Which one would you take? I'll take this one here. Yeah. This is the Chevrolet Trailblazer. What do you know about it? Huh? What do you know about it? Not much. I know that it also has the option of coming in this color. Yeah. Astra. I like the Astra, guys. This car is absolutely beautiful. Look at the mags. Look at those lines. It's so sleek. But this is so much cooler. Guys, aren't you just like totally in love with this car? I I'd take these mags, dude. Look at the buttons. Look at all the buttons. Do we know what they do? No. No one knows what anything does in there. Steering wheel is acceptable. It looks like it's got a long face though, which is Look weird. at the gear lever. That is perfect. Um, checks this accent, but 
There's a Texan. So you've got an accent, you've got two Texans. What do you get? Yes, dude. Oh, there's an I-10. I'm guessing minus is on the I-10. I'm um, getting the... I'll get the, the first. Front, yeah. yeah, I'll get the first two sun. Well, maybe minus can get this one. You don't like the roof, though. So. <laughs> Looks much better than that one. Damn straight it does. Look at the new grill. Looks absolutely beautiful. I like the trim around the fog lights. Steering wheel, 10 out of 10. 2.8 liter GD6. GD6, what does that mean? I'm not a clue what that means. I know what 2.8 Did I say 2.8? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I know what that means. So here we have a Ford EcoSport. This is an ST. Focus, which of all the STs is the one I would get. What's the verdict on the pipes? I don't know how I feel about center pipes. On the old SRT8, center pipes were powerful. Otherwise, I kind of like the S65, which got four on either side. Symmetry. This in the middle kind of looks off balance. This stands for forward. Oh, look at that flare! Oh, flare! Everywhere, and wow! Look at this. <coughs> this is a it's a focus RS. Look at the look pipes. pipes. That is amazing. Seat. Look at the seats, the styling of the seats and the steering wheel. <laughs> Bucket seats. Oh, Out of Ford's here. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah. We've been here before and there was a Mustang. It was the standard Mustang, it was the 5 liter V8, but I was still about that one. The RS. I'll take the RS over the Mustang. I'd take the Mustang. The Mustang is a top top. I'll take the RS. I'd okay. take the Mustang. He's wrong. Take okay. the RS. So, I don't know, dude, this can't be the end of the video. I was about to say this is the end of the video. Now is the part we're going to cut to the cars driving car. If for some unforeseen circumstance we have to work with gun this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. You have to like and subscribe, as we didn't say in the beginning of the video. Cass is black belt, still doing karate. Second day and first day and then I'm not really sure. But he will fight you. And if this is not the end of the video, stay tuned for the rest of the Yeah, Mine is trying to do some fun. Thanks for watching. Some cool transition just case this isn't the end of the video and need to go to the cross. Earthquake, this is an earthquake, please. Earthquake, please. Oh no, that's not it. Okay, it's gotta go crazy.